Hello and welcome. You're watching Market Head Start on Money Control. I'm Sakshi Batra, and this is where we get you prepared for the trading setup of the day. I also have with me Shitej Anand. He's the markets editor at Money Control. Good morning, Shitej, and thanks very much for joining in. Well, we actually saw a muted kind of a trade on the first trading day of the year 2020. Right. But what are the hopes for today, especially when the global markets are also reopening today, and there will be some cues from them also to be picked up from. Right. And also, if you could sum up the yesterday's trading action for. For us to tell us about was the action on benchmark indices mm -hmm. and broader markets as well. Right. Morning, Sakshi, and uh, good morning, viewers. Well, definitely, uh, you know, if you look at today's trading session, hopefully it should be a, you know a good positive day for uh, Indian markets because most of the global markets or Asian markets are trading in fair bit of green. Uh, apart from uh, uh, you know Japan, which is closed uh, due to New Year holiday, uh, but if you look at the momentum that we saw in yesterday's trading session, although we sort of uh, you know retraced uh, some of the gains, or in fact uh, we saw some bit of profit taking at higher levels, but we should be able to hold on to that 12,150 level in today's trading session. That is your that that is the first bit of support that investors should watch out for. On the high side, we'll make an attempt to uh, reclaim 12,200 levels. Now, a couple of data points which one should watch out for today would. Be the PMI data, which will be coming out later today. Uh, apart from that, GST collections are above one lakh crore, so that should, in fact, add to more positive sentiment uh, on the last trade. Although it's not, uh, one, uh, it is not above the, or it is not meeting the uh, government's target of 1.1 lakh crore, but still, it is over one lakh crore, so that is definitely a positive sign. Uh, apart from that, uh, if you look at what happened in currency, well, a rupee appreciated uh, by 14 paisa against the US dollar in yesterday's trading session, and if you look at foreign institutional investors, they, but they were. You know, slightly net sellers in Indian markets for less than 100 crore crores. So definitely, the magnitude of selling, uh, you know, is there, but but the magnitude has come down in terms of uh, uh, the the volume that uh, they are uh, selling. In fact, uh, in yesterday's uh, trading session, day before yesterday's trading session, it was around about 100 crore crores. So definitely, that magnitude has come down, even though they remain net sellers in Indian markets. Absolutely, Shitesh, could you also tell us and our viewers as well the year that's gone by, 2019? We've actually seen double-digit returns yes. on uh, the benchmark. Market disease, the Sensex and the Nifty. If you could really tell us the picture of how things have really panned out in the last one year, how have investors fared and their wealth rose in last year as well? Right. Well, if you look at, uh, uh, you know, if you have to sum up what what's going to happen in uh, uh, 2019 and uh, taking that as a base, what will happen in 2020? Yeah. Well, uh, I think uh, you know most experts that we've spoken to, they're suggesting that it will be another double-digit kind of returns for. Okay. The okay. Street. Okay. Uh, so, uh, you know, in the year 2019, uh, Sensex was up by more than 14%, uh, Nifty 50 clocked around about 12% return uh, in 2019, broader markets underperformed. Well, uh, the equation could slightly change uh, in 2020, where broader markets could see some bit of outperformance as okay. smart mo money start moving in into, uh, uh, you know, into these stocks. While uh, a double-digit kind of a gain is relatively possible for both Sensex and Nifty as well. In fact, the most aggressive target that we've got from uh, was uh, was around about fourteen thousand four hundred on the Nifty 50 from Fortex Securities, and uh, for the Sensex, uh, BNP Paribas has a target of around about forty forty four thousand five hundred. So, which essentially uh, uh, means that uh, uh, an upside of around about you know seventeen to eighteen percent from uh, current level. So, yes, that is uh, that is with regards to the most bullish case. Otherwise, if you look uh, you know at the target levels on an average. Average, then uh, Nifty 50 could probably rise around about 13,500. That is the average uh, estimate that we are getting from uh, the global brokerages. So, if, if in case you've missed out on the rally, I think there's still more upside which is left. Uh, for Indian markets or for Indian investors. Absolutely. So if you missed the rally that we've seen in the year 2019, worry not because 2020 will have more opportunities for you because most of the experts believe that both the Sensex and the Nifty may rise double digits even in this year, and the broader markets may also be outperforming this year as well. So plenty of opportunities for investors for the year 2020. Let's actually come down to now what the technical views are on the index for the day. So Shridhar, could you help us? Understand what are the chart patterns suggesting for the day to day, and also how should traders position themselves? Well, absolutely. Well, if you look at uh, uh, the candlestick pattern for uh, yesterday's trading session, in fact, uh, even though Nifty 50 closed in the green, but the candlestick pattern was uh, you know slightly bearish. In fact, it was a small bearish candle that was formed uh, on the daily technical charts. Now. 
Apart from that, if you look at uh, the crucial levels to watch out for in today's trading session, would be 12,165. Now, that's your first bit of support, and it was the uh, it was also the intraday low formed in yesterday's trading session. So that'll be the first support to watch out for in case we do slip be uh, below this level. Then 12,150 and 12,100 are your crucial bit of supports to watch out for. On the high side, 12,222. That is your uh, uh, intraday high form in yesterday's trading session. So that'll be the first bit of resistance in case we are able to reach that. Then definitely 12,293 and 12,300 levels are your crucial bit of resistance level to watch out for. If you look at the options data, the maximum call open interest is placed at uh, uh, 12,500, 12,200 and maximum put open interest is still placed at 12,000 followed by 11,500. All right, so those are the crucial bit of uh, levels with that too you need to watch out for on the index for the day. But apart from this, if you need to be stock specific, a whole lot of stocks will be in action on the back of news flows as well. So, Shitish, which are the top stocks on your radar today? Well, absolutely. The first stock that we have on the list is from the auto space, Tata Motors will be in focus. In fact, it reported a 12% decline in total vehicle sales in the domestic market to 44,254 units in the December. Uh, apart from that, telecom stocks uh, will be in focus after TRAI, TRAI on Wednesday made amendments to the new regulatory framework for cable and broadcasting services under which cable TV users will be able to access more channels at lower subscription price, although it is a welcome news for the consumers, but definitely not so much positive news for the uh, companies which are in the broadcasting business. Apart from that, from the auto space again, Aisha Motors will be in focus here. The domestic December sales dripped by 19.1% to 5,042 units against 6,236 units during the December 2018 quarter or 2018 month. And I believe, Sashi, you're also tracking some stocks and essentially the auto names where brokerages are recommending. Absolutely. After the uh, mixed uh, kind of data that we actually saw for the month of December in the sales uh, for the auto industry, brokerage houses have picked out their picks from the auto sector. First up is Tata Motor. City has come out with its report on this one. It maintains a buy rating. The target price they've given is 200 rupees per share. Remember, the current market price is 184. So there is a slight bit of uptake that you can expect on this stock despite the weak sales that it has uh, reported for the month of December. What City says is that they have a positive outlook and stance on the JLR recovery. However, domestic uh, co commercial vehicle and the passenger vehicle volumes may remain weak, uh, have remained re weak in December and they may not recover very fast as well. Apart from this, Maruti Suzuki is another stock that you need to watch out for. City has yet again come out with a report on this one. There's a maintaining of buy rating that they have kept with a target price of 8400 rupees on the share. The current market price is 7300 uh, or about uh, that price as well. So there is an uptake of about 1000 points that you can really expect from the current levels that City is really expecting. Now what they say is that new models and the weak base may aid the volume growth even going forward, there's also a well positioning of Maruti to wade through the expected choppiness in the demand also going forward from here. Apart from this, we also have some technical recommendations for you. So, Shidish, who have you spoken to and what do we have for today? Right. Well, to make your day more profitable, we spoke to Sanctum Wealth Management and they've given us three ideas uh, for today. The first stock that they have on the list is Narayana Hridale. Now, that's a buy call for a target of 380 and a stop loss of 308. Balrampur Chini, that's another buy call for a target of 225 and a stop loss of 176. LNT Infotech, that's another buy for a target of uh, 2000 and a stop loss of 1710. Remember, uh, the return potential is close to 12 to 16 percent on all the three stocks. The holding period is around about one to three percent because uh, the returns expectation is in double digits. So, in case you are initiating any positions based on these recommendations, well, do consult your financial advisor. Right. Thanks a lot, then Shitish, for sharing these bright ideas with us. And with that, it's a wrap here on this edition of Market Head Start. You stay logged on to moneycontrol.com for more news and updates. Thanks for watching. Thank you.